because I wanted to get the, this interaction on tape too. <laughs> this is a Concord complaint part two. I had to actually stop the video camera because I wrote those plates down, like in here somewhere, and I can't find where I wrote those plates down. It's messed up, all right. Right there. It's right on the bottom? Yeah. All right, and this is you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll, I'll email the link right to you, and it'll be going on, um, um, if you could write it down, it, well, you can read the back. It's gonna go on that website and the YouTube channel. Okay. Got it. Uh, thank you. Um, I, I know they, they look pretty young, so they're probably not used to videographers, but I'm like a bees nest. Well, I was going to say, I, how, how often do you come to Concord? Um, once a month for the past really? few months. Okay. But the last two times, it was like 20 below. <laughs> so there wasn't much much going on. There yeah. wasn't many bars getting in and out. Yeah. Um, we were doing a thing in match, so we yeah. wanted to take the... Uh, the route through Henniker and all that stuff to try to hit these back back communities on the yeah. way back to uh, the Keene and Winchester area. Sure. Um, and, and because I know that's a hot spot for state police, but yeah. Troop Troop B and Troop C know know me and him really well. Yeah. Um, we actually get along with most of them. Sure. Um, and Keene knows us extremely well because they, they, yeah. those poor guys are used to the free staters too. Well, 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 we'll talk about that in a minute. But, yeah. Because uh, I got my own questions, but okay, but but. Uh, my my guess is, you, you know, I, I mean, I watched that video, and you, you can't dispute. I mean, you you yelling derogatory comments at these guys. Uh, free, freedom of speech and freedom no, no, of expression. No, no, listen, I understand all. The, of that. It's the interaction with them with me that was uncalled for. If they just minded their own business, I would have stepped back and. Sure, I know, but they. We would have went like home. You guys, they they know who you guys are. You you know what I'm talking about. Well, that's that's the thing, and that's one of the stories we're writing. It's yeah, the preconception it's the and pre process. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, so what I, what I was going to ask you about is is what's up with. Uh, the, uh, the Free State Project now? Um, I'm not FSP. I'm actually married to someone that was an FSP mover. Yeah. Um, Free State Project, uh, basically politically libertarians. Yeah. Um, I know some of them do cop lock in Manchester and there's yeah. one uh, one guy that does keen cop lock through, yeah. through that chapter. But cop lock's a total different, um, I mean, yeah. the, the cut from different cloths. I mean, you could have Christians that do cop lock sure. and not libertarians or anarchists or whatever. It's yeah. just such a decentralized, you know, yeah. um, very diverse group of people. Sure. Uh, but the Free State Project is basically built for movers coming to New Hampshire right. um, that ha that are all liberty minded that want to change the laws for the libertarian side. Yeah. It's more political, and then you get your your groups of FSP that like uh want to legalize marijuana and they're all about it i'm sure i'm okay with the victimless crime thing mm -hmm. i'm not a, i'm not for like police pulling people over for the taillights being out and stuff like that i think yeah. it's a waste of time and unproductive but i'm not like the free states think all victimless crimes are victimless right. like i think the heroin epidemic is not victimless yeah. it would destroy a community I, like i'm 41 i know i don't look it but i'm 41 years old i grew up in the the crack ep epidemic in brockton mass okay. and i was brought up in brooklyn almost simultaneously so it was really bad yeah. i know what heroin's going to do to communities it's going to sure. kill everything around it yeah. um that causes victims so i'm not on board with them with that yeah. and there's all uh, you know some other political things that i'm not for sure. Um, and uh, I'm kind of more like on the Christian, you know, you know, conservative side, but you know, kind of leaning towards the freedom and uh, liberty side, but not total full libertarian. Yeah. There's a lot of things they do I don't agree with. So it's a, basically that's basically the the separation between them. And then you have Free King. Yeah. Um, and it, they just had a big thing with the FBI. Yeah. Um, that was uh. Yeah. Ian Freeman. Ian. He's yeah. part of Keen Cop Lock. Okay. Yeah, and he's uh, the. Uh, so, part what you're with as well? 
Well, he d I used to do King Cop Lock. It's decentralized, so there's no head. Anybody can just do okay. Cop Lock through the gotcha. channel. But New, H New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock was founded by me because we go like all over the state. Yeah. Um, Keen Cop Lock just does Keen stuff. Gotcha. Um, I mean, I've been doing Cop Lock like a year before the Keen riot, so gotcha. it's been, uh, about three years. I won a big case against Keen PD yep. um, back in 2007. That's how I met you know, the, the uh, founder of uh, coplock.org, and I got into it that way. Um, but with Ian Freeman, I guess somebody logged on to a porn site, and, and he's got an open network, and there's a lot of free staters that go in and out of that house, and it was logged on for 30 seconds. Yeah. And, and, and they already told them no charge is probably going to be brought. They just want to know, you know, where the source came from or whatever because they're building a big case against the site itself. Now, now who's the guy that's got the, um, the radio show, the, uh, the web show? That's Ian Freeman. No, no, no. There's another guy. Oh, you, oh is it no. Chris Cantwell? Your favorite person. <laughs> What's up with him? He could, he could share more. What's up with him? <laughs> he could tell you more Dude, about I Chris. I saw that podcast. And I don't know which one. He's got like over a hundred of them. I don't know. It was, it was one from like last month because he was well, talking about. Kim uh, has been kicked out of Free State Project, yeah. and Cop Block, and everything. He's yeah. he's violent. Well, he seems like a troublemaker. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, every group's got him. He's an antagonist, big big yeah. time. Yeah, he likes to stir big, the pot. Big time. But what happened a month ago? <laughs> he, he had a podcast where he was basically uh, uh, bad mouth in uh, Ian. You know. And they used to be best pals, like last you summer. Know, you know. Keep your uh, enemies close, right? I know. I live maybe a block and a half from them, but I've never, I barely seen them. I, I barely see them. I, I know I read in the paper he pulled a gun on some people on Main Street. In King? Um, yeah, like I think it was like September, around September. When was September, right? When he pulled the 38 on those people? Yeah. He was videotaping a domestic. Yeah. And all of them, including the chick that was being smacked around, came after him, no. and he had to pull his gun on him because no. he uh, he carries. Sure. You know, I'm not a big fan of open carry, but yeah, you know, whatever. whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of him at all. I know he's part of the liberty movement in and out. Yeah. But yeah. I think he's just a loud mouth, and he needs to go back to yeah. whatever hole he crawled out of. Yeah. I, I'm, I I try not to be an antagonist. Yeah. But when my rights are being violated, I just want to be left alone and do my thing. But when cops approach me, it's like uh, Sergeant Simons from Keen PD said it the best. He goes, JP is like like a hornet's nest. If you treat him with respect, you'll never have a problem with it, ever. If you just, you know, oh yeah, my name's blah, 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 go back to do whatever you're doing, you won't look like an ass on sure. YouTube and won't go on to a site that gets 2.4 million views, yeah. you know. But if you approach me like that, and, and I could throw out a ton of laws that they broke. I mean, I have a right to go near the car, take information down, whatever, as long as I'm not interfering with their active duty, yep. which I clearly was not doing. Um, I, think, I think the preconceptions and pre-notions of how they trained um, is probably the most useless because, you know, instead of taking care of their stop, their training automatically fixed their eyes on someone that, was un that they're unaware of which is me um, and I'm clearly mocked I have my press pass I got this on yeah. and most of the time I you know when it's really cold I have my reflective jacket on and stuff yeah. um, but I clearly said I'm from you know coplock.org yeah. and they still were verbally attacking me yeah well, th th at least that's my point of view yeah that sure um, it was on it was unnecessary and they should have listened to my first thing I'm right here leave me alone just I'm you, you know mind your own business yeah. um, but when you're gonna be a jerk to me you know, I'm, I'm not going to be quiet about it, you know? Yeah, I hear you. So, I, I, I guess, uh, what do you want to do now? I just, I just want to file the, I want to file the complaint um, yeah. on them not identifying themselves. Because okay. under the 8th article of the state constitution, yeah. Um, yeah, all I, public I'm officials, aware. yeah, they need to respond and be yeah. responsive to the public at all times. And he sure. should have gave me his name. I don't know why he didn't. It's just, I don't know. Okay. It's, it's stupid. So How long has he been on the force? And actually, do you know who they are? Uh, you don't no, mind? I gotta, I gotta look it up. Oh, okay. So if I email you the, um, yeah, the video, will yeah, you, I'll know by now. will you email yeah, back who they now. are? Yeah, absolutely. All right, thanks. Absolutely. I appreciate it, man. So, so I just want to make sure uh, you're satisfied with me talking to them about who you are, 
about what went down, absolutely. your obligations, yeah. their requirement. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, And it can stop there. Okay. It that's can be fine. internal. That's it. Yep. That's, that's it. That's fine. All right. I appreciate that, LT. Thanks. Okay, guys. Yep.